God's promise to Abraham. Long after the flood, people on earth made a plan. We will build a great city with a tower right up to the heavens, they said. Let's live together always. Everyone spoke the same language. God wanted people to live all across the world he had made, so he did something special. Suddenly, groups of people spoke differently. God gave them new languages. Those who spoke the same language moved away together. Perhaps people became afraid of others they could not understand. In this way, God caused people to fill different countries. The city they left was called Babel, which means confusion. Years later, in a place called Ur of the Chaldees, God spoke to a man named Abram. Leave this land, God commanded. Go to the land I will show you. Abram obeyed. God led him to Canaan. His wife, Sarai, and nephew Lot went with him. In Canaan, both Abram and Lot became rich. They had large herds of cattle. There was not enough pasture for all those animals. Lot's herdsmen quarrelled with Abram's herdsmen. Let there be no trouble, Abram said. We will separate. Lot, you take first choice of the land you want. Lot chose a great grassy plain dotted with cities and villages. It looked good, but the cities were very wicked places. After Lot left, God spoke again to Abram. I give all the land of Canaan to you and your children forever. Abram and Sarai had no children. How could God keep his great promise? Three men from God came to Abram and Sarai. You'll have a baby soon, they said. Sarai laughed. She did not believe God's message. She was ninety years old. God told Abram he would now be called Abraham, and Sarai would be Sarah. God also told Abraham he would destroy the two wicked cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham's nephew Lot lived in Sodom with his family. Lot believed God's warning when it came, but his daughter's husbands refused to leave Sodom. How tragic they didn't believe God's word. Only Lot and his two daughters made it to safety. Fire and brimstone fell upon the wicked cities. Sadly, Lot's wife disobeyed God's warning and looked back as she ran. She turned into a pillar of salt. The Lord kept his promise to Abraham and Sarah. They had a child in their old age, just as God had said. How they rejoiced when Isaac was born. Perhaps Abraham also thought about God's promise. To give him and his children the land of Canaan forever. God would keep that promise too. God always keeps his promises. The End God's promise to Abraham, a story from God's word, the Bible, is found in Genesis 11-21. to The entrance of your words give light. Psalm 119 verse 130 This Bible story tells us about a wonderful God who made us and wants us to know him. God knows we have done bad things, which he calls sin. The punishment for sin is death, but God loves us so much he sent his son Jesus to die on a cross and be punished for our sins. Then Jesus came back to life and went back home to heaven. If you believe in Jesus and ask him to forgive your sins, he will do it. He will come and live in you now, and you will live with him forever. If you want to turn from your sins, say this to God. Dear God, I believe that Jesus died for me and now lives again. Please come into my life and forgive my sins, so that I can have new life now, and one day go to be with you forever. Help me to live for you, as your child. Amen. Read the Bible and talk with God every day. John 3.16